Hey, I've already got a uh, title for you if you want. You know, just an idea. <laughs> okay. Um, 31K in six days from his garage. What's going on, everybody? Got a special guest here. Got my guy, Scott Hassey. Scott is a pitching coach out of Indiana. He's in his garage right now. And um, if, if you read the title of this video, you will know exactly what we're talking about. But Scott, um, I'll, uh, I'll let you introduce yourself. Just want to say thank you for jumping on and um, honestly for your trust. So take it away. Maybe if you just want to give a little intro about yourself and then we can go from there. Yeah, so Nick covered who I am. Uh, just real quick about what I do. I do work with pitchers. I take a health first approach to helping them add velocity. I've been doing it for about 15 years uh, after my playing career was done in college. I just knew there was one thing that was kind of my calling in life, and that was to work with pitchers. And so I've been able to do it and kind of live out my dreams over the years and figure some stuff out along the way and get from, you know, doing it part time on the side full time. And um, I'm really excited to share my story with how you, Nick, have helped out and how um, it's just been awesome the last handful of months. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, uh, I appreciate it. I think your story is pretty cool and it's a little bit more unique than maybe a lot of the other people that I work with. So um, I think maybe we could just start off with like, talk about a little bit more in depth of your background, kind of where you were when you first saw this random dude in Scottsdale saying he can make you money and then we can go from there. Yeah, so 15 years ago when I started coaching, I was also big into personal development, um, how to make money online. So this is back in like 2008. So maybe that's 16 years ago now. Um, and I was one day was like, oh man, I'd love to you know, make money on the internet. And I took all the courses and all the programs and tried to figure out like what I could do. I didn't think I could do it in baseball at the time. I didn't think that was possible. Um, and fast forward to 2020 when I first started my business and got an actual LLC, I started dabbling in the programs and I was trying out courses and one-on-one -on -one coaching and all the things to get a business going and making money. And then over the last year or so, I came closer and closer to realizing what was actually going to work for me to scale and actually make a really successful business. Because a couple of years ago, I finally went full time, whether it was in person or clinics and camps or some remote stuff. So I was just throwing anything at the wall to see what could stick and make enough money to you know, work full time. So we've got two kids, I'm married. Um, and wanted to be able to have still enough income to obviously support the family. And then, like I said, about six to 12 months ago, I realized this remote thing, which I didn't think was scalable, I think is going to be the real deal. Because I was working one on one with guys. I was, you know, making decent money per guy, but I couldn't figure out how to scale it to more than maybe eight people a week or excuse me, eight people a month. And that was it. It was like a cap. I was like, I got kids and a family and I'm trying to run other portions of the business and I can't do more than eight because it's just too much work. It was too, too much time intensity. Like I was doing super long Zoom calls. We were just texting all the time. I was like, I don't know how to do this. And more and more people kept telling me, hey, you know, you got a pretty high price point. Well, why don't you just like go all in on that? And I didn't think I could. And then when it started to click that, oh, maybe I can if I think about this differently and I work on some of my limiting beliefs, uh, I might be able to do this. And then I was looking for a program of guys in the baseball world that specifically were able to scale remote training. And it pretty much didn't and does not exist. And so I landed on Nick's ads and Nick's YouTube page and Nick's stuff. And I'm like, OK, here's a guy that's claiming I'm looking at your YouTube page right now. How I made 250K through online baseball training. I was like, no mm -hmm. one's making that claim. No one says they can do that. Of the people online that are making money, you don't know how much it is. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know if it's for real. And so I, I found the program, reached out to Nick. And then I, I think I told you on our original call when I joined, I was going through the depths of the internet to find like old tweets and old posts and interactions with coaches from years ago that you had had. And then what really led me to joining the program was, okay, the guy comes across like he knows what he's talking about, but is he actually a good dude? And when I just saw multiple interactions organically from your coaches in the past, and I already told Nick this, but for you guys listening, I was just like, okay, there's coaches that he haven't coached him in years that are still following Nick 
posting congrats on random things out of the blue organically. There's no other like back and forth with them. Clearly these coaches think highly of him from his playing days. Um, I'm, I'm willing to make the jump and I've been very fortunate to have done that. And it's helped out tremendously. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, I think your story is awesome. And to me, like when you, yeah, when you told me that you're like looking at my Twitter, I was like, Oh shit. Like I gotta make sure it's clean, but <laughs> <laughs> um no, I, uh, I I really appreciate that because, like, from the outside looking in, you know, it, it can be tough to trust somebody random on the internet, especially, like, you know, I, I make some really bold claims. I'm a lot younger than most of the people in this space, and I, I look even younger than I am, and I'm kind of blunt, kind of brash, like I say what's on my mind, <laughs> And uh, a lot of people, you know, have a difficult time believing it. So I just want to say thank you for believing in me, especially like, you know, early, early on before, you know, now it's like really, really growing fast. But yeah, I, uh, I, I just want to say thank you. You know, it's, it's been fun to work with you. I know we met up, but we'll, we'll get into all that stuff. I guess, what do you like, what do you think was maybe the biggest thing that you took away from being a part of my program? And then, you know, maybe talk about your progression from where you were to where you are right now. Uh, two biggest things. Number one, I was super excited about getting around a group of baseball guys that were kind of doing the same thing as me. Cause there's just not, it, it doesn't look like, like forward facing. You don't find a lot of people actively like building a community with those. You see those people out there, you see the names, you see the Instagram and TikTok accounts, but like there was no, like community of those dudes and to sort of find one. I was like super excited to get back in the locker room, so to speak, and just hang out with the guys and talk baseball. And, and obviously I missed that, but also to be able to get to not only hang out with baseball dudes, but guys that are interested in the same thing. Cause in college for me, I remember my playing days for, for a number of reasons, I didn't connect with as many guys. Um, I was again, big into like self-help and personal development, all these other like, things that are you know cool now but like no one was talking about that stuff back then they were talking about don't, going and drinking and partying and I was like ah well you stay up till two in the morning drinking I'm just gonna go like read some books or like watch some training videos or online courses on like how to make myself a better person or figure out like sales or speaking so number one was the community aspect that I was super pumped about and that's just blown like blown me away and then number two was I needed someone who was knew exactly what they were doing, had results, could show me exactly what they were doing. Um, I've been in a lot of other courses and still am where it, it shows you maybe the totality of all the things you could do online. But I was like, I want to get super focused. Here's this guy who's doing exactly what I want to do in the exact same industry, who's going to allow me to just take leaps and take huge strides in everything, whether it's messaging or copywriting or the sales or the funnel and just here's exactly what to do, X, Y, Z, then just go do it. He's done the results and then have someone in the community to get the feedback. So I was looking for the community and the focus and like, it's just been awesome. And I think at the time I was just ready to transition out of getting all of my in-person hybrids to like, okay, I want to scale this thing. I had my one-on-ones from before. I had my in-person people, which I gave them a look, you know, said here for a little bit of extra money, let's do a remote thing as well. And I was like, okay, how can I raise the price? How can I streamline this? And so I was making, you know, maybe a, a couple grand a month at the time, I think, while I was still trying to build everything out, mostly rel relying on my in-person training, you know, traditional lessons to now, um, what I told you before this, it's, I wrote it down. It's, so in the last six days, well, it was a six day period. It was like from, I don't know, Wednesday to Wednesday or something like that. But it was, I had cash collected, money collected from new contracts was 6150. So 6,150 of actual money collected in contract value, total contract value in those six days of those guys over the course of 12 months working with them is $31,400 over the next 12 months. So it, it's worked out really well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I know. Um, I know you've had like a lot of experience already, like in internet business, like you've done a lot of work on your own and 
I think for, you know, it's just a testament to like your, your mindset and the fact that you're willing to learn from somebody who, you know, like when you started learning about internet business, I was like 10 years old, <laughs> you know? So like for you to listen to what I'm saying, like, I appreciate that. Like, I, I really, really, really do. And that's why I think you've had so much success is because you come, you come into everything with like a, like a beginner's mindset, like you're willing to learn, you're willing to grow, you're willing to adapt. And I think it's amazing. I, I really, really do. Um, what, what do you have to say about like the, you know, creating a program and, and stuff like that through online training? Because like, I get a lot of people saying that they don't think online training is beneficial to the athlete, right? They think it's just a money grab or anything like that. So like, how would you say like you've, you know, been able to help players and, and actually develop relationships and give them the instruction that they need through online training? I, if you put it in to simple, understandable terms in no other setting, when you're trying to get better at fill in the blank, anything, are you going to get exponentially better or reach your full potential if you do it one day a week? And most guys doing lessons are doing it once a week in a group setting and I for years left every group session, every clinic, every camp, every time working with a player when I coached thinking to myself, I wish I just had a little bit more time with them. I wish I had another day with them, another hour. I could do a one-on-one -on -one session, but I financially, I could never figure out how to make that work because between 2008 and 2020, I had the limiting belief that it doesn't exist. I didn't see anyone else doing it online. And I was like, well, I just have to keep my full-time job and do this stuff on the side, help out as best I can, and then wonder what if, you know, hopefully things turn out well. I know I could do a lot more, but I don't have enough time because in order to make any type of decent money, you got to do a group setting for lessons in person. You got to put them back to back to back to back. You got to do multiple days. You're working your butt off. And then again, at the end of the day, if you're in this for the right reasons, you want to see those guys get better. And if you're saying to yourself, like I was for over a decade, I wish I had more time. That's where online comes into play. You have almost unlimited time. They can message you back and forth or whatever setting you have set up for them to get more help. You can do the online courses, which they can watch anytime, all the time. And then you can set them up a training plan, whether it's if you do the lifting aspect, you can do the throwing aspect, hitting whatever it is your expertise is in. And they can have a daily plan and then check back what in with you for that feeling of in-person where they have the interaction. Um, but it's just, if you have someone that's trying to learn the piano and they do a lesson once a week, we all know as coaches, the likelihood of a player or a piano person going home the next six days and working on it is not very likely. But if they're invested to do a remote program or an at-home program or really get the most out of it, they're gonna do something every day. And I know I'm as guilty as a lot of guys that I would have that feeling, but then I never really set something up for them at home because it was, I didn't really have the time. Well, now you have the ability within your program, Nick, that it's, here's exactly what other guys are doing and examples. Here's what I recommend you do. This is what has worked for me to make multiple six figures and have guys get success. Like you have the program, you have the resources. You can just create it one time and give it out to hundreds of guys. And so I, I understand if your only experience is in person, you don't really realize. And if you've never done something like that, but if you just take it back to like, if you're trying to do a weight loss program, a workout program, learn an instrument, it requires days and days of work. And that usually is not going to happen when the coach says, hey, now over the next six days, make sure you get your reps in. Like, who's going to do that in any scenario, adult or child, when there's no set program to do? So I, I just think it's it's not the only way, but if you want to reach, have your guys reach the fullest potential that they can and get the most out of working with you, why wouldn't you want to offer something online? Yeah, no, that is that is so powerful. And you said it better than I could, right? Because I, I get people saying that all the time where they're like, oh, I don't know if online training will be beneficial to my athletes. It's like, dude, you owe it to them to give them more stuff. Like, 
some like I always I always use the example of like myself as a player. Like I needed an online program. I needed an online mentor. I needed somebody to protect me from myself because the people in my area that I was working with directly, like, guess what? They were like the guys who were qualified to help me. They had a ton of other lessons. They didn't have time to actually help me more than that. And so then I would just go off and I would hit every single day, but I would work on the wrong shit because <laughs> I didn't have anybody holding me accountable. And then I would go in the weight room and just guess, like, I didn't know what to do. And, you know, okay, you want to work with an athlete every single day. Like, let's say you charge a hundred bucks an hour. You're charging the guy 700 bucks a week. That's 2,800 bucks a month. Or you can work with them once a week and then have a hybrid program for six days. And if you charge them 500 a month, there's $2,300 less. And they're still getting like as many touch points as possible. So to me, like, yeah, we talk a lot about making money in my community, right? Because you, like you said, you, you were working a nine to five job before you went all in on this. You can't give something your full time effort and attention unless you make a full time income from it. It's actually fucking impossible, right? <laughs> so I don't, I mean, dude, I, I just, I want to say thank you so much for, for sharing that because like it is, it's a limiting belief that a lot of people have. And then, you know, when they, when they hear like, oh, we're making money from training, they automatically assume that all you do is see your athletes as dollar signs. And I think that's bullshit. It's just uh, it's a belief that they anchor on that. Like you can't make money for doing a great service for the world. So um, we'll switch gears a little bit. Like, what well, here, let ahead. me, let me add to that. Cause I just totally understand where those people are coming from because that was me too. And I'm sure it was you before you knew like it existed. And then once you hear it exists, you're like, well, that's not in person. And in person is the only thing I know. But it, it's funny. So a month or so ago, I went to an in-person event for more like personal development stuff. And I heard a guy speak and then got to talk to him afterward. And he can actually like if you've ever done um, personality traits or like you answer a bunch of questions, it tells you oh, you're this type of person, like all those whatever. So he can actually like look at your face and maybe have like one back and forth question or something. And he can basically tell you the type of person you are, what you're best suited for. Like he's one of the best in the world at what he does where he can like, there's, I guess he was saying there's some AI people trying to like figure out what he's doing so they can build out technology. to So AI can start to facial recognition and personality, like bucket, like it's crazy. But anyways, he basically told me that based on the type of person I am and he, we didn't, I didn't really tell him anything about myself or what I did. He's like, basically said, my purpose is to transform people. And the effect is, yeah, there's going to be some dollars made to, you know, support my family, but like, this is why I'm in it. And when I realized how much more I could give that athlete to actually see a transformation. And then when you see the transformation and the guys reach out to you, about thank you so much for helping me with my girlfriend. Thank you so much for helping me with like some family issues. Thanks so much for helping me gain weight. Thanks so much for helping me with like my schoolwork. Like what, when you meet with someone once a week, maybe in a one-on-one -on -one setting or you meet a person once a week. And of course they miss a couple of weeks. So you see them a handful of times a year in a group setting. That connection is only so deep. When they're invested with you for months on end, for days at a time each week, and you have that back and forth, there's so much more invested and the transformation is just exponential. And the amount that you're able to transform that human is just, it's like a freaking drug and I'm addicted to it. And I just love being able to help those people get so much more out of everything. Like I've had parents, like a parent and player, like a dad and a son cry before. I like just the transformations are just undeniable and unbelievable. And I just would welcome anyone who's not sure because they don't know yet to just look at the potential that you can transform someone's athlete if you or someone's life if you incorporate an online component at the very least yeah that was amazing i'm gonna clip that <laughs> thank you no it's that's why you get into coaching you know like you don't get into coaching because you're like oh i want to get stupid fucking rich you know like if that's what you want to do, you probably should have like worked on Wall Street or something like that. Like there are way better ways to make money.
<laughs> you know so i i appreciate that i mean i uh the really the last question that i had lined up for you and then we can just kind of go wherever is like for anybody that you know maybe watches my stuff on instagram or you know is watching this youtube video right now and they're like oh i don't know like i mean it's a lot of money like you know, they're just, they're, they're not a hundred percent sure, right? They don't know if it's worth it. What would you say to them? I would say if you don't think it's worth it yet, Nick's got all kinds of videos on Instagram, on YouTube. He goes super in depth with YouTube and literally lays out the plan in a bunch of different scenarios. So find the scenario that works best for you. And there's probably multiple videos on that specific scenario, whether you're trying to do fully remote, hybrid remote, just get your in-person guys. Um, I mean, it's, it's really all laid out there so you can do the math because that's what I was doing. I was doing the math. What's the investment going to be? How much money do I need to make and what time? Um, and then it's just a relentless pursuit of the program, trying to help you figure out exactly the steps that you need to take through the guys in there, through the program and through Nick and the trainings that we do and the live calls. Like it's everyone trying to help everyone on figuring out like, what are the, what's the exact next step you need to make? Cause we're all in this together and we've all done it. You've got, you know, I'm not the first of a case study video. There's guys that are doing it. And I mean, you and I, Nick have had multiple conversations where it's like the plan is right there. And when the guys do it, like they make the investment back and then some, and I, and usually it's making the investment back like over and over where you can get to that point, however you need to, whatever's most comfortable with you. And then be making that every single month. So the investment is made back maybe in that first month and then you just make that profit essentially after that. And so you, you got to evaluate your own situation and be smart. Um, and we have so many good conversations on the calls where guys are like, Hey guys, here's my situation. Here's my nine to five, or here's my full-time situation. And I'm full-time baseball. Here's the route I'm going. And then everyone's just jumping in. Oh, Hey, have you thought about this? And there's just so many good ideas going around and so many plans already in the program and just for free, I'm looking, I'm looking at the YouTube page here. Like it's, you know, how do you do, how do you make this amount of money? How do you make that? And you got to, again, be smart, know what you need to make ends meet and then go from there. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate that so much because like, dude, the, the community is, is insane. It's like, honestly, so humbling to, you know, see all these people who, you know, have trusted me, number one, not only like, okay, like money is one thing, but like with your time, effort and attention, right? Because you can always make more money, but you can never get your time, effort and attention back. Once you spend it, it's fucking gone, right? So the fact that I've been able to, you know, somehow convince these people to, to trust me is, is super, super humbling because like, dude, when I started this, I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Like I knew I knew that the system worked. I knew that I knew my stuff, but I didn't know if people were going to believe me because I knew so deep down that this is the future of, of sports, of training, right? And it's my mission to change the way that sports training is done. You know, so I, I appreciate you helping pioneer the way and uh, the game needs more, needs more guys like you do. So I, I appreciate you. Um, is there anything maybe that you wanted to talk about that, you know, we didn't hit on or, or anything like that? Like you, you've already given me like <laughs> so much social proof, like so many like testimonial screenshots and, and you're doing this interview. Like, I mean, dude, you're, you're the, you're the fucking man. So like anything you want to say, <laughs> just say it. No, I actually told my wife the other day, she was sitting on the couch. I remember looking at her. I was like, I told her I got off of three calls in a row, closed all three. And like, they were all perfect fits for the program. Just good dudes with good families. I'm like, they're just, this is exactly the right family. Like they're going to do so well. And I was excited because I was like, I just closed all three of them. And like the money that this is going to bring in for the family, because she's in the transition right now of she's going to be leaving her teaching job over the summer to help the business. And so every time we're able to help another person, it also helps our family and she's able to go after her dreams and like the, the effects, the ripple effects of what I'm doing. And then what she's then able to help me do. 
and then like showing our kids they're five and two and the effect of like us going after our dreams and the ability to create like we talk about this the one of the biggest gifts whether you're spiritual or religious or universal or whatever it is scientific like the ability to create on a daily basis your reality whatever you want to do if you're an artist like whatever it is like the ability to create and then show our kids it's like one of our family values is to create and show them like it whether it's hard or easy whatever it is like you can do this every single day and what it looks like five and ten and fifty years down the road is awesome but and in that conversation too, again, more like tactical and whatever, the system that you've had set up, like from day one, the funnel basically, where it's um, get them set up in Calendly. Um, here's like, well, here's the, the messaging back and forth. If you're going to like DM a guy, here's what you say to him. Once you get them into a Calendly call, here's how you set that up. Here's the funnel, but the call, the text and the email reminders and what you should do and here's some videos that you should put in and here's a video you should send them when like that thing i had set up in the first couple of weeks and i have used that in so many different ways whether it's you know a referral or someone just reaches out to me via email or the dm and it's the same exact process that yeah maybe it took me two three four weeks to set up and i had to figure it all up or figure it all out but now i'm able to use that i've got a summer program i'm doing now and i'm going to set up the same freaking funnel where it's I'm getting on these calls and in the first few times I was doing them, which I used to not like sales calls for so many reasons that a lot of people don't again, limiting beliefs. But then I was like, man, I can make such a connection with them. I can sell at a higher price point. We can get a bigger transformation. Um, but when they get on the call, I used to tell them, Hey, these calls will be anywhere from you know 45 minutes to an hour and a half. I was thinking most of them have been 90 minutes, but I'm just going to say on the low end, because maybe it'll be quick. Now it's like, I'm telling them a half hour to an hour if we move forward and we get you signed up right now and onboard you. Like I had those three calls back to back. If I wouldn't have said really anything, they might have been closed in the first 10, 10 minutes and just said, where do we sign up? Because once I finally asked them if they're in, they're like, well, yeah. And that was at like the 20 minute mark of us just having an informal conversation. It wasn't a sales call. It's just like we're talking. Is it a good fit? on both for both of our ends and it is and then the only reason that each of them went an hour was because we got them on board they paid and i get got them access to all the resources their logins answered any questions gave them like went through a pdf step by step so like it was crazy and i, I told her i was like the investment i made for just this funnel setup was worth everything for next program like, i literally told her that a couple nights ago so I, I definitely want to throw that in there because it's just been awesome. I I appreciate that, Ben. I appreciate that. It's uh it's awesome to see your success and to see that. Like, because dude, you shouldn't be taking 90 minute sales calls. Like, what? <laughs> no wonder you hated sales calls. They are they are 90 minutes of arm wrestling, right? When when you set up the funnel properly, you get people on the phone. They already know you, they like you, they trust you. All they need to know is a couple of logistical things and the price, if they're a good fit, right? If they're not a good fit, then, you know, they, they probably shouldn't have gotten even to that point in the funnel anyway. So, but no, that's, that's amazing, dude. I, I just want to say like, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. We had a chance to meet up when you were out here too. I know you were kind of just driving through. Got some chop shop, talked a little bit of business, and you gave me some really good feedback and insight into like the other programs that you know you've been in. So I just want to say thank you for you know, number one, trusting in me, but number two, like always keeping it real. Like you're not afraid to be like, hey, you could probably do this, or like if you did this, like it would be super beneficial, you know. So I just want to say thank you. Um and yeah, any uh any words of wisdom or, or parting advice or anything like that for, you know, the, the people out there still watching this? I'd say when you join, get excited because at the time like that we're recording this, I feel like you are so far from the potential where this program is going and it's already seeing such crazy success. So just get excited because this thing, it's on a fast track to, like just huge impact across like the entire industry. Cause right now 
they're not really on anyone doing this. And if they are, they're not showing the proof and the results. And like the community is amazing. I like it's, I can't wait to see where it goes in the coming years. So get excited. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Scott. Thank you so much for your trust. Um, you know, it's, it's always my goal when I sign somebody up to, to change their life, you know, and hopefully I've had a small, uh, a small impact on your life. And if you're still watching this video and you haven't gotten on a call with me, then what are you doing? Booking a call with me down below. We'll get you signed up right on the call. But, uh, Scott, I, I appreciate you so much. And, um, thank you so much for your time, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks, man.